In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a card using the beautiful new Elsica Square from the John Next Door collection. This is a very sort of simple die and designed to give you some beautiful frames or some beautiful sort of backgrounds. So you've got this die here, which gives you all the sort of detail and cuts the center out, giving you that frame. You've got a separate outside line, which will allow you to do things like this, where we can cut in. We give a beautiful bold piece that holds these really fine lines and then an absolutely gorgeous section which gives us a beautiful lattice in the center just like this so a three-piece die set but really really easy to use i'm going to make quite a simple card using it so i'm going to start with a piece of coconut white essential card and this has been cut to five inches and here i've got a piece of sky blue essential card cut to just a little bit less i've just trimmed it down a little bit to stick on the back so all we need to do is evenly place the outside line of the elsica onto your square of coconut white card and we'll run that through the die cutting machine and we'll cut that so really simple run that through and that will give us this piece here really simple and easy with the frame showing these lines are so fine that they'll actually sort of almost pop out so you almost get a 3D automatically from this. So all we need to do is to take that piece. I'm going to add a little bit of spray glue. So again, I'm using my craft mount by 3M. And I'm going to take the piece of sky blue. And this is why we made it a little bit smaller, because it's easier to stick on. So I stick it on from the reverse. And that means that we don't have any blue showing through the front. Give it a good press. And then we're simply going to take the next die in the set, drop that in. Again, tape that down nice and securely. And we run that through and we cut that. And that will give us this beautiful frame piece just here. So really simple. And again, that could go over simply over a piece of white card. It could go over a piece of another blue card. We could have flowers in the center. There's lots of different options. You can do this beautiful sentiment, a stamped image, whatever you'd like. But what we're going to do is use the next dies in the set. So I'm going to take a piece of card here, cut. And this time I've cut this to four and three quarters by four and three quarters. As you can see, slightly smaller than the main piece and a piece of blue on there. And all we need to do is to tape that die roughly in the center. You can use the frame as a guide to get it in the right place. I prefer to just do it randomly in the center, tape that down, and we run that through our die cutting machine. And once again, we add blue on the back, which I've done here, which gives us this beautiful lattice of the blue. So we can start to put this together, really simple cuts. So I put a little bit of foam tape on the back of this die. So I'm just gonna reveal my foam tape just to add a little bit of dimension. And we evenly place that over the lattice, checking all four points. There we go. You see on the back, we don't have any overhang, so it works really, really well. Next, all I need to do is to put this onto a card blank. So I've got a card blank here already prepared where I've gone with a six by six mat. So it just works beautifully. And again, I'm going to use a little bit of foam tape on the back of here just to add some dimension. So we just go around all four sides. And the foam tape I use is two millimeter foam tape. So it gives that little bit of depth and dimension without making the card too thick for postage or meaning it has to have a box. So we go, we'll take off and reveal the tape on that one. And we're simply gonna stick that onto our card blank. So we'll pop that into place, make sure that's nice and even, and we'll pop that down. And then I've taken a little sentiment and I've stamped this just with black ink because I've overset it with black already. And we could go across the front like that. 
we could actually tuck this in, which is what we're going to do here. It's a little bit long, so I'm just gonna take a little bit off there. So I want it to be almost the size of that space there. And we tuck that in. So all we need to do is add a little bit of foam tape on here. So I'm going to add three layers, one, two, three, so that it sits proud of the three layers of foam tape that we've got. Just make sure you take off the tape before you add the next layer. One, two, three. And I can use the grids as a guide. There we go. Make sure I've got that nice and central. And we just tuck that piece in. There we go. Once I'm happy, well, that's nice and middle-ish. There we go. We'll just press that down. We get that beautiful bowed look. And then I'm simply going to add a few leaves and a few flowers. So I'm using the marigold leaves. So very, very simple. So these are the marigold leaves and the marigold flowers. A few little dots of glue. I think we'll go there. And again, a few little dots of glue. And we'll go there. And then I've got some flowers made up in the two shades of blue. In fact, in actual fact, I'm only going to use two flowers on this one. So these flowers have been made up in sky blue and sea blue, all from the essential card range by Craft Artist. And again, these are the marigolds, just with the faceted gems of, in silver in the centre. And we go there. And really, really simple but effective card, which really centers and frames that sentiment, but doesn't let it shout too much.